Boy, this has flowers at the top. Nice. The most floral of the five samples by this is a a floral coffee yes flower bomb flower bomb i was i was, I was looking for a, a way to say fruit bomb and uh, without using the word fruit that would be it oh yes i'm getting the rest of burundi central africa complex flowers seem to be flowing up to the top, yeah. making the, a very vivid first impression. So I have to reach down under the flowers to get to the, again, I'm going with mango. It's a fruit of some kind. The fruit, the stone fruit. You know, we haven't talked about aromatic wood. This has a little bit of a- Wood a, to it, huh? A cedar. Cedar, maybe. oh yeah. Okay, I'll take that. Picked it out of the pile. I'm really getting a lot of cedar. Very nice. It seems to be influencing the fruit. <laughs> sort of like a mango or a peach shut up in a cedar box. And I'm getting the cocoa. Very nice cocoa. Yeah, this has a lot of aromatic stuff going on. Really nice. This uh, may be really obscure, what I'm going to say next. I think what I'm associating with wood notes uh, influencing the fruit and the flowers is really a kind of a positive version of that starchy note that we got in, in number three. Oh, yeah, okay. I think I know what you're referring to. But it is positive in this. Boy, there's a really fine yeah. fruit in this one, yeah. isn't it? Now, now the, the floral... Uh, impression is sort of giving way to a fruit, to a lovely fruit. It's lovely. Well, I got to get my nose out of that one. I just uh, burned it. <laughs> <laughs> Too much of a good thing. <laughs> Very balanced cup. Very nice. The, the acidity is sweet and uh, well contexted in the uh, in the rest of the cup it doesn't dominate just enlivens and and adds vibrancy to the profile yeah Very nice. A nice resonant bottom to the uh, to the acidity the uh, aromatic notes are are rather tight tightly related and layered but the very pleasing Mm. Get a little starchiness maybe in the fin in long finish. Maybe right on the roof of my mouth I've got a little. But w oh, wow, I mean, yeah, another crowd pleaser if I may say so. Maybe we should reveal this one before Let's we... do it. Yeah. <laughs> Coffee Labs. Burundi Giku 3. Oh, anaerobic yes. <laughs> You got one. We finally got a dry. <laughs> one zinger yes, here. We, we, uh, we have one. Macadamia nut, baker's chocolate, and dried apricot. Yeah. I think those are good descriptors, yeah. actually. First year of naturally processed micro lots from Giku Hill. Yeah. Well, now it says, it says natural process in the fine print. Yeah. They're contradicting. They're saying it's natural. Now, yeah, that, that's what made yeah. me ask that question. Well, today, most of these anaerobics are anaerobic naturals. What they're doing is they're taking the whole fruit and fermenting it in anaerobic tanks and then putting it out to dry. So it's never, the fruit is never removed. So it never becomes washed or honey. The problem here, it says honey process. I suspect what was done here, often they ferment it twice. Ah. They'll ferment it in the whole cherry, and then they'll remove the, the skins skin and, then... and ferment it a second time. Ah. Or uh, only one of those might be anaerobic and the other might be a, a aerobic with the w open air uh, tanks. 
some combination like that. So that's the reason perhaps for the contradiction, apparent contradiction in the language. A lot going on in the processing, but what I'm getting in the cup really is just a very nice uh, Central Africa Burundi. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more shows like this.